Hello everybody, my name is Tubusplum and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Settlement Showcase series and this time we were at Coastal Cottage and I'm hearing some sort of... There's some sort of rabble rousing going on here. I think it's inside. Synth. Suspected synth. I need, I need, I'm sorry, I need to get rid of the, uh, cinematics here. Goddamn Institute Infiltrator. He may look human, but he's not. I've been watching him, and there's something off about him lately. Please, don't let them do this. You've got to let him go. Don't give in to paranoia. My God. Thank you. We're good then, right? Well, okay. Uh -huh. Just leave him alone, will ya? I didn't think I was walking away from that one. Okay. So there was that. Uh <laughs> Okay, so we're back after the rabble rousing. There was a suspected synth mission going on here, and I, I, I guess, what did I just do? I leveled up. Okay, I don't understand the suspected synth because, like, you can tell a settler to calm down, don't give in to the paranoia. But then they're going to end up dead anyway, the suspected synth, which is more than likely always a synth. They're going to die anyway, so it's like, what is the point of this? I don't understand it. Anyway, let's begin with the Coastal Cottage tour. So the... Oh, that's right, I have it set for copper because I'm still working on uh, Nuka World. Um, but, uh... Yeah, so let's start in the shed. I've got a scavenging station in here. There's... That's about it. I I would have liked to have done more, but I, I would have had to repair the roof, but... I don't know. Roofs are tricky. Without a place anywhere mod. Um, so there are two enemy spawn locations. One is down this direction. Or there's three, I'm sorry. There's one down this direction. Then there's one up here. Out behind these trees. Or even like right... Oh, right, I don't have weapons on me. <laughs> Since I retired and finished Nuka World, I put all my weapons on uh, display. My Nuka World home. <clears throat> so there's that. Um, I'll get to the third spawn once we get farther down the line. Here's the mess hall, which was made from the house that pre-existed. Uh, prior. So I made it into a little mess hall. We got some tables. We got a bar, stove, the soda fountain from Vault Tech Workshop. I did not put a fridge. I don't know why. I guess I thought there wasn't enough room, but I don't know. Because in this core, it's just really awkward. Okay, then we go into the farm. The farm. Which has carrots all along the uh, edge here. Um, and even just here along the house too. And then we got a little marketplace with a doctor, junk store, and clothing. Uh, we got our Brahm in here. We got another scavenging station. And uh, water purifiers. And I really wish I could have gotten rid of this couch, but you cannot. It's the same with these trees in this destroyed area. You can't get rid of it. Um, okay, so then here's the third spawn point. Or actually, I don't even know if it's a spawn point. I don't think it is, actually. No. 
No, I don't think it is a spawn point, but when I first came here to build on the settlement, there was... I gotta be careful, there's like a Deathclaw spawner. There's a Deathclaw spawner back there. Um, up on that ridge, up above where that Yogwai body is, I've seen Rust Devils there. But then also that there's the Deathclaw spawner. There it is. The Matriarch. Um, so yeah, there's a few enemies that spawn here, so that's why I put up this uh, couple turret, these four, four turrets. There we go. And then we got uh, one of the dogs from Creation Club, the Golden Retriever. Got them here. Actually, I don't know what its name is. Patches. Thought it was cute. Radio beacon. And then inside is where they sleep, get groomed. Work out. And I got some gambling machines in here. And that's that. Um... I would get rid of the Deathclaw, just so for any instance we don't get attacked, but I think we'll be fine as long as it's sleeping and I don't bother it, plus I don't have any weapons, so <laughs> let's, let's uh, see what it looks like at dark and see if we find a dead settler. Alright, here we are back, it's night time here at Coastal Cottage. The shed's a little dark, but that's okay. The mess hall is all nice and lit. I hope our bartender is still alive. Let's... Oh, nope, he did. Nope, he's dead now. Our bartender's dead. <sighs> Alright, you're the new bartender. I really hate that quest. Suspected synth. It doesn't matter what... It doesn't matter how you choose the ending. Like, it doesn't matter. So what the hell's the point? I really hate this quest. Anyway. I've only experienced it, like, in this playthrough. I don't recall it ever. In my railroad character. So, whatever. Um. Oh, I want to look from the outside. Then it's like even like the second floor. Well, what would be a second floor is still pretty lit, and of course it's lit in here. This gentleman was on the slot machines. Hello, you are very uncomfortably close. Uh, I'm really interested to see where that synth body is. I don't know if I'm gonna find it. I'm probably not gonna find it. Yeah, just that suspected synth, that just pisses me off. Because it's like, what's the point? It doesn't matter what we choose in the long run, they're going to end up dead. So, why even bother make this quest if the result's going to always be the same? Uh, unless there's like some circumstance that I don't understand, I don't know. But... That's just the way it rolls, I guess. I'm gonna guess that it's gone, the body. Um, when I first... When I first discovered this settlement, like, on a playthrough, I guess, like, a long time ago, I always kind of thought this would be, like, a settlement home, but then, like, actually building on this settlement, that's, uh... That's kind of, like, next to impossible, because the terrain is so uneven. And, well, I mean, I guess you could build here, but in my case, because I like to use things that already exist, like this house would not be an option for a player home. Like, this is what I was ideally thinking of. It was more as a player home, but, um, yeah, I, I don't think that would be very likely to work because it's extremely uneven. But I like it because it's, like, way out of the way, too. Like, if you look on the map, it's, like second most northern, well, no, it's tied with Ten Pines, but you get the idea. It's out of the way. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for Coastal Cottage. Next will be 
making our way down the east coast. We'll go to Kingsport and then Croup in this run through and then we'll get to County Crossing and we'll make our way down south from there. And again, I'm only covering the larger settlements, the smaller ones that already have uh, settlers already added into them. I'm not doing them, except the only exception is going to be County Crossing and Ten Pines. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and to stay in tune with the rest of this settlement showcase series, as well as any future content. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and I'll get you guys next time.